Hey everybody, it's Ross. I'm excited about a beautiful day in Atlanta. It's a hot day, but it's a beautiful day. And I wanted to talk to you about the nightmare of media. That's right, media nightmare. Have you ever thought about it? How many avenues of media that you and I have in this day and time to connect with people? I mean, I remember when the fax machine back in the, right at the early 90s, was a huge deal. We got the old fax machine back in those days and it curled up. It was that old thermal paper. and We thought that was a huge deal. That was back in like 1990. And now we've come a long way. We have cell phones, text, we have video images, Blackberry, Blueberry, iPhones, iPads, email. There's things that I haven't even mentioned yet, but I try to do the best I can to communicate the message I have and communicate with my friends, my family, my co-workers. And I try to do the best I can with what person likes what form of media. I get people all the time saying, I don't do that media, but I do this media. And I say, okay, I'll try to do that media. Some people text 100 words or 200 words. They even try to run their business out of their Blackberry. That's all right for them. They even make documents. I don't see how they do it because I could never do that. I could never run my business from a BlackBerry. Some people like to run their business from their iPod or their iPad. You know, I, I give them a lot of credit because I could never do that. So I get phone calls from people saying, yeah, I'd rather you text me than to voicemail me. And other people say, don't text me, voicemail me. And other people say, call me, and I call them, and they're not there. And then I get emails from people, or try to email people that actually don't answer any of their emails. They just have an email address, and then you find out what's going on, and they say, oh, well, I don't look at my email or don't answer it. So, you got cell phones, emails, iPods, voicemail, video. I mean, all those things are good, because I like, I like those things. I use them sparingly or the best I can, but I do the best I can, but all the time it's not. You maybe have gone through media nightmare too. I've even got one person that answers their cell phone on their voicemail and says, this is my voicemail. I do not check it. Please don't leave a message. All right, they're telling you via voicemail, don't leave a message. Well, that's all right. I don't get frustrated with anybody that they don't do it like I do it. I just try to understand, do the best I can with it. Hopefully you're doing the best you can with it too. Don't get upset to other people for not doing it the way you do it. I try to call my, my coworkers back and my friends back. I try not to have big long conversations with friends during the day because I work during the day. You might work during the day too. And I know if I call my friends during the day, a five minute conversation will end up turning into a 30 minute conversation and it's just the economy's too bad. I have to be on the phone with business most of the day. So I try to do a two minute email or a one minute email or a 10 word email to get the same thing across to something that may have cost me 30 minutes on the phone. So hopefully everybody understands that. Understand your friends. If they don't use media quite like you use media, if you say call me back and they call you back, maybe it's they called you back at the wrong time or three hours after you said call me back, don't worry, don't get upset. It's never ever personal. So you may have suffered the frustration and nightmare of media. Hopefully this will encourage you just to keep on doing what you're doing. You might do a note to a person that says, hey, don't email me even though I have an email address because I don't answer it, or just text me. A lot of people will text you, but they won't call you back for some reason. They don't like to talk on the phone. Hey, that's fine. Whatever works for you works for me. Just let me know how it works for you, and you'll be glad you did. Hopefully this helps you and encourages you to do the best you can with the nightmare media. Take care.